Hey guys, so it's Paul here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this laundry room pedestal. So here is the laundry machines, and there is the pedestal down there. And everything I use in this video, all the tools, supplies, uh, materials will be listed in the description box below uh, and they are affiliate links so they will help me out and support the channel so I really appreciate it if you do buy something. All right, so I'm gonna give you a little tour here so this is a pretty small room but it's a laundry room with the two uh, machines here the washer and dryer they sit on top of this pedestal and basically it's a modified version of Anna White's uh, plans online and what I did here is I turned the uh, pillars into these columns and I made those and I'll show you how I did that in the instructional video in a second. You want to first start out by getting two by fours to use for the frame of the pedestal and what you want to do is kind of get the dimensions of whatever your washer and dryer sizes and uh, length and width and height and depth and try to figure out what is the best size for your specific machines. So I used a miter saw to cut all the 2x4s down. To build the frame I used clamps, wood glue, and two and a half inch screws. So what you want to do here is you want to pre-drill all your holes, countersink it, and then drill it in. Personally, I like the screws that have a star uh, bit on top, and this uh, prevents stripping. I don't like the, the standard Phillips uh, screws because I, they tend to strip, but if you're using an impact driver, which I highly recommend you get, uh, it prevents stripping overall, and I haven't had a lot of issues compared to when I used to use a drill for driving nails into wood. Here you can see the frame has a notch kind of uh, built in and this is to account for the ventilation system on the dryer. I used 3 fourths inch plywood for the top shelf where the washer and dryer would sit on and then I used half an inch plywood for the bottom shelf because it didn't need to be as strong because you're not going to put as much weight down there. Maybe you'll include some laundry baskets, some laundry detergent, etc. To cut the plywood I used my own jig that I made to use a circular saw to cut down the large pieces of plywood easily. You can do this with a circular saw or you can use a table saw. Put wood glue over the frame and then the tabletop uh, onto the frame and I used brad nails to hold it in place while the glue dried. I used my jigsaw to cut out the notch for the vent. Any of the countersinked holes that you made, uh, just fill it in with caulking or wood filler uh, that will allow you to paint it later and hide them completely. I like to use my router to soften the edges of the uh, corners so they're not so sharp. You can use this sandpaper or a orbital sander. Next you want to use an orbital sander to just sand down the entire uh, project so far and make sure that you don't have any splinters. To create the legs of the pedestal, uh, you want to use 4x4s. So the 4x4s, I use two plain pieces on the back of the pedestal and for the front of the pedestal, I decorated the legs to make it a little bit more fancy. I first started out by using 3 4 inch plywood and cutting out squares that were slightly bigger than the 4x4s. 
I used lath wood to create the more decorative outline border edges of the column and you can even say this kind of a shaker type look to it. Uh, lastly, to add to the column uh, leg, I used roundover trim to create this extra effect. The trickiest part of this project is most likely how to attach these pedestal legs to the top and bottom shelf. And so what you want to use is uh, these brackets to hold them in place and wood glue and clamps. And then to give it a little bit more support when it's hanging over the edge, I stuck a um, scrap 2x4 to give it more stability. It also acts as a placement for when you do screw it down from the other side and it'll grab onto that extra piece of wood. Here you see I'm just using white paint with a home right paint sprayer. Uh, I really like these paint sprayers because they're very simple to use, easy to clean. You know, they're not going to give you that super fine finish like an uh, expensive paint sprayer would do. Um, this piece was cost me only maybe $60 or $70 on Amazon and I'll provide a link in the description as well. And you know, for a weekend DIYer, it is perfect. So as you can see here, I messed up and painted it already, and so I, I wanted to give the pedestal more strength with the legs, so I decided to uh, screw it in from the top as well, and then I filled it in with some wood filler and repainted the whole project. Once you're done painting, uh, do a really light sanding with some high grit sandpaper. I would recommend at least 220 grit just to get it, you know, a little bit smoother because once the uh, plywood and wood soak up some of that paint, you'll see a little bit of splintering show up unless you give a really, really thick coat. And if you want, you can add some uh, polyurethane, especially just at least on the top of the top shelf where water can potentially get to with the washer. All right guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and remember you can always do it yourself, but make sure you follow safety precautions with power tools.